AFTV, West Ham 3, Arsenal 1. Robbie, a very disappointing day at the office. Very, very disappointing day at the office. Um, very, very, very poor performance mm. by Arsenal. I thought we started off the first half pretty brightly. You know what yeah. I mean? We had a, a one stage 80% of the possession, yeah. eight shots. They'd had no shots, right? And they still were one nil up because of a quite dreadful bit of defending, let's be real, by um, Ben White. I don't know what he's doing. He's, he's, he's all out of shape. You know, I'm out, I, all right, he's trying to head the ball um, over the bar, mm. gets it horribly wrong. They go one nil up. We give him the impetus off of a game that we're dominating. Um, but I still had a lot of hope because, you know, yeah. we'd been dominating that first half. But I have to say, the second half performance by Arsenal today was amongst the worst I've seen for a very, very long time. Would, got, you, would you go as far to say that's probably the worst football we played this, this season? The, no, no, quite easily the worst football we've played this season. We got absolutely outplayed. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They, they, they were on the attack in the second half. Yeah. Our defending was absolutely shocking. Yeah. Zinchenko on that second goal, awful. He watched a cross-field pass come all the way over the pitch. He just looked at it yeah. like that. Looked at it, looked at it, looked at it. Made it drop over his head. Listen, well done to Kudos. Great control. Cuts inside, bang. Great finish. But what kind of defending is that? How can you go and look the manager in the eye when you've defended like that? And then the last goal, um, the third goal that they scored. Yeah. All right, I know he said, I'm not going to blame Ramsey. He hit a deflection. Yeah. I know some people will be like, oh, he should have done better. He got his hand to it. No, that's a reflex. Yeah. The ball's hit a deflection. He's up, but where's the where's the people closing down? Absolutely, the um, ball shouldn't get there in the first place. No, it's a, it's a free shot yeah. on goal. No defense, no closing down, nothing. Yeah. And listen, you, when you're two nil, three nil down in a game like this, it's over. It's over. And I, I didn't even understand why Mikel Arteta bothered to bring on Saka yeah. and Rice and all these players. Just late. Just, I would have just left them all yeah. off and let those guys continue. On there because I didn't see the point yeah. in that, but that was a really, really bad performance. Not one of those players that played today can go and make a case to the manager and say, you know, if they're not a regular starter, yeah. go and make a case and say, yo, I think I should be playing on Saturday against Newcastle. I disagree. What about Reese Nelson? He was all right in the first half. Yeah. He was okay in the first half, but I still don't think he did enough mm. to earn a start in place. He was one of the better ones yeah. and. Is, you know, most of the, the real poor play was defensively. Yeah. And I think one of the biggest culprits of that today was Zinchenko. He had an absolute nightmare. Li literally every pass he hit was to a to a West Ham player. He made about three um, times he gave the ball away early in the game. Yeah. The mistake on the goal, the defending was shocking. I thought all, all the... Kivio yeah. weren't too bad, but all the other defenders were yeah. really bad today. And they've really cost Arsenal the game because... West Ham didn't have to do a lot. Yeah. I hate performances like that where a team has not really had to do a lot yeah. to get their goals. And then we now, eight, nine shots, nothing. Yeah. Because they're defending properly. Yeah. Now it was really, really bad. And I, I don't know, man. I mean, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm really peed off about the performance, but I stand there and I think to myself, why should I really care? Yeah. The managers, and, uh, of, you know, all the managers, yeah. not just Arteta, all the managers who go into this competition yeah. don't really care. I was, I was, I was just about to ask about that. Obviously, I think, he, I think you're of the opinion that you know, it's not to say it's not important, but the Carabao Cup is definitely lower down in terms of the importance. But do you think the players, maybe also the manager as well, have come into the game also with that same mentality? Well, listen, it's there for everybody to see with every team. You know what I mean? And some teams have done, but you know, we we changed the team last game, and we put in a much better performance than what we did this this game, but. The fact of the matter is this, and, you know, there might be West Ham fans watching this video that will be saying, oh, Robbie's just sour grapes. I said this before the game even started. For me, Saturday against Newcastle is more important. Now, whether we win that or not, I don't know. But to me, that's a more important game. The yeah. problem is with this competition is that the managers don't take it serious. Let's be real. Yeah. Mikel Arteta, loads and loads of players rested. Even West Ham, they rested yeah. a few players. Teams right across this competition, yeah. even Ipswich, right, who yeah. doing well in the championship, mm -hmm. rested nearly all their players. They're at home yeah. with a chance to win and go into a quarterfinals, mm. right? 
They, most of the managers in this competition don't take this competition seriously. It's not one of the big major yeah. trophies. Did, it's, the, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's no VAR there, yeah. right? Because if there would have been VAR, yeah. maybe they might have pulled it back for the first goal because yeah. Ramsay was obviously yeah, held. Pulled. But they don't deem it as an yeah. important enough competition to use VAR until yeah. later on in the competition, yeah. right? So that's an indicator to show you just how important it is. It doesn't go to... Um, a replay or extra time. If it, if it's one-one at the end of the game, it penalties. goes straight to penalties. Yeah. It's not a serious competition. The competition, for me, basically, seems to be a hindrance to most managers. They, you know, Mikel Arteta would be probably rather kick on yeah. with the game at the weekend and in the Champions League game next week. Do that's you think, just how it is. Do you think that's the right mentality to have, though? Because surely, as a manager that wants success for the club, they, you've got to be going for all the silverware that you can. You have to go for all the silverware you can, if possible. You you want to you want to think to yourself, and and you know, I'm not even going to make excuses completely for that because we are not doing what we used to do when Arsene Wenger was there and played pure kids. Yeah. There are players like, you know... There's balance. Yeah, there are players that are coming in. Fabio Vieira, who costs £35 million. Pounds. Champions League winners um, in Jorginho. Jorginho's, you know what I mean? You, you've got players like Havertz, who cost £65 million. They, These are proper players that can also be first-team players. Yeah. But I'm saying that, really and truly, no manager, not even championship managers take this competition seriously. No one takes it seriously when they get to the semi-final. And then they're like, oh, you know what? We could win a bit of silverware. Let's go strong now for the semi-final and the final. Yeah. And that is what's wrong with this competition. Everybody nowadays is just focused on the Premier League because of all the money in it. And they're focused on um, winning the Champions League. And then third comes the FA Cup. And quite a lowly fourth comes the Carabao Cup. There's still no excuse to put in the performance that we put in tonight. Because even if we were playing in a friendly, that performance not was not good enough to say you're an Arsenal team and to represent the thousands and thousands of fans that are at the game, leaving the game now and all getting soaking wet. Mm. Not good enough. And there has to be a reaction now on Saturday. Has to be a reaction for them to... It's going to be difficult. It's a difficult place to go to St. James's Park. I'll be up there. But those players, when they step out onto that pitch on Saturday, they got a show a lot better than what I saw tonight because, quite frankly, that was absolutely dreadful tonight. And, you know, just not, be, you know, becoming of an Arsenal team. Confident of a win after a performance like that? Listen, you know, some of the guys have come off and said it. We're good at bouncing back. Yeah. You know I mean? We, we, we've had defeats against Lons. We, we bounce back. And also... I have to bear in mind it's only Arsenal's second defeat of the season and we're still in, unbeaten in the league. But it's going to be a big test at Newcastle. We went there last year and won. I think we're fully capable of going there again and getting a victory. But the defending has to be way better than that. And, um, you know, I, I just think there's certain players that got up their game.